In this demonstration, we will see how to do batch mode trimming and linearization of a nonlinear simulant model. This is useful when you need to linearize your model at multiple operating conditions. In that case, using the graphical user interface to repeat the same operation many times is not effective, and it's better to do that using a script. So let's see how you can effectively do that. The demo that we will use in this example is a nonlinear model of internal combustion engine. The model takes throttle angle as an input and engine speed is the output. To start linearization, we need to specify input and output linearization points. We can do that by right-clicking on a signal of interest, selecting linearization points and specifying whether the signal is an input point as in this case, or an output point, like in this case. Once we have done that, we can do initial linearization using a GUI. For that, we can go into control design and linear analysis. This brings up the linear analysis graphical user interface that we can use to specify the operating condition and linearize the model. So here we can specify which IOs we want to use for linearization. We'll use model IOs. And we can specify the operating point. We can use the model initial condition or we can calculate a new operating condition. We can do that by specifying, in this case, that the engine should be in steady state for both states. And it should be at fixed output value of 2000 RPM. So once we specify that, we can find the new operating condition. As you see, it was found successfully and a new variable or ptrim1 was selected in the linear analysis workspace. So now we can go back to exact linearization and specify that we want to linearize our model at this operating condition. Then we can specify what plot we want to use to show us the results of linearization. Let's use body plot and we'll linearize the model. The linearization is done and we get a linear system linsys1. Now imagine we want to repeat this operation at many different operating conditions. For example, we want to linearize the engine from 2000 to 4000 RPM with a step of 200 RPM. To do that, it's as I mentioned before, inefficient to use the GUI to do the same operation over and over again. So we can write a MATLAB script to do that instead. We can write this MATLAB script from scratch, but to get started quicker, we can automatically generate MATLAB script from the GUI. So to do that, for linearization task, we can select this down arrow and say generate MATLAB code. We get this function, MATLAB function, which uses commands from Simulink control design to basically specify the I.O. points and linearize the model. Now we also need the code that specifies the operating condition. So let's go back to the linear analysis tool. Let's go to the trim model tab. And here under trim, we also have an option to generate MATLAB code. So this generates MATLAB code that finds the operating condition for the model. Specifically here, as we discussed, the output is fixed at 2000 RPM and the states are set um, to steady state by default. So now everything that is left is to combine those two files into a single file, as I did here, and add a for loop. We add the for loop and we say that in this for loop, we should compute the operating point at different conditions ranging from 2000 to 4000 RPM with a step of 200 RPM. Once we compute this array of operating points, we can use this command to linearize the model at multiple operating conditions and compute several linear models at the same time. So let's execute this script. The calculations run pretty quickly and once they complete, we have a new variable, sys, we get the body plot of this here. If you zoom in, we see that we do get 11 different curves representing 11 different linear models. And if you look at the sys 
variable in our workspace, we see that it is indeed an array of 11 continuous time state space models. And for each model, we get the corresponding state space matrices. So that's a good approach for doing batch mode trimming and linearization of your simulant models. This concludes the demo.